What's up, everybody? Happy St. Patrick's Day. This is the DVD and Blu-ray update that I promised you. I got a nice little haul here to talk about, and when I mean little, I mean it is a little haul. We only got we only got uh, three DVDs, well, two DVDs and one series box set, as well as four Blu-rays. Let's get into it. I got this from Walmart. This is a Hallmark double feature. I got this uh, when I went to go and see a Boogie with my buddy, and we decided to go to Walmart. I saw this, and I really love the top movie. I have not seen the bottom movie yet. The top movie is A Summer Romance with Aaron Krako and Ryan Pavey. The bottom film is Home by Sprint. A little thing here is that it is a double-sided disc. I wish they would put artwork on it because sometimes, like with uh, the All of My Heart Trilogy DVD, it's all on one disc. It's all on one disc, one side, and with pink artwork with the All, all of My Heart Trilogy or something writ written on it. I will be right back and, and I, I will just give you a couple examples. So as an example here, we do have the All of My Heart Trilogy trilogy here. The All of My Heart collection came with a slipcover, very nice, and you open it up here, and it's all movies on just one disc with the All of My Heart collection written on it with the All of My Heart movies, All of My Heart, All of My Heart in Love, and All of My Heart The Wedding. I really love all three of these films. I love the first two more. The third one is still really, really good, but I believe I have reviews for all of those. <coughs> But in the case of this one here, with the double-sided disc, this is what, what they used to do. They used to do double-sided discs. This is the Meghan Markle uh, double feature here with uh, Dater's Handbook and When Sparks Fly. I will be watching and reviewing. I have seen Dater's Handbook. I have not seen When Sparks Fly yet. But they've been getting up, they have been getting a bit better. Especially with their Christmas releases, because Christmas is what sells for the Hallmark Channel. Hallmark is big for Christmas. And if you don't know that, well then, now you know. Hallmark is the king of Christmas movies. They put out at least 30. The past couple years, they've done 40 Christmas films. And last year, I watched about 100 and something Christmas films. It, it, it was insane. I, I watched them in... In July, I watch them in October, November, December. We love Christmas in my household, especially Hallmark Christmas. With the triple feature here of Christmas at Grand Valley, Christmas Made to Order, and Christmas at Pemberley Manor. All three movies, again, put on one disc. With this one, a early release, this is from like 2013, 2015. 2015. You open this up, the four-pack here. And they put two films on a disc with artwork. Very, very nice. Uh, which, by the way, if you don't have this set, this is a... I think this is a pretty cheap set on Amazon right now. This is a Very Merry Mix-Up, which I personally love. Me and my family, particularly me and my dad, love a Very Merry Mix-Up. Hitched for the Holidays is also really, really good. If you like J Joey Lawrence, definitely check out these films. This film collection here uh, is a nice little last final, uh, what am I trying to say here? A nice final example. This is a nine film collection with Hallmark Christmas movies. There you go. Again, you open it up here and they actually did artwork with three films to a disc. Very nice, very nice. Definitely check out my Christmas collection. I will be doing another Christmas collection uh, in November or December this year <clears throat> as I get more Christmas films in my collection, which is ever-growing. I am never going to stop collecting Christmas movies. Now let's get into the uh, stuff I got uh, for, for free from my uncle. And then we have a Blu-ray here from a studio. I got a Blu-ray steelbook here that I'm going to be talking to you guys about. And then this is from Scotty and Ashley. These last three are from Scotty and Ashley. Let's get into it. 
So the last DVD movies we have here is the Back to the Future DVD trilogy. My uncle ju just bought the Blu-ray set, the older Blu-ray set. This is the newer release DVD. Uh, this this is going to be a bit embarrassing. Well, I believe I've seen all of one and two. If I haven't seen all of two, I've seen a good chunk of it. I have not seen the third one yet where, where they go uh, back, back to the old west. Which I am going to be watching these films and reviewing these films very, very soon. One little qualm with this is the DVD for the first one is a bit scratched. But I'm sure that I can find a replacement copy of, of the first one, no problem. And the case is a bit broken, but for free, I wasn't going to say no. And there's a nice little add-on to it where we have two bonus discs with bonus features. I'm not sure what all is on them, uh, but I am looking forward to seeing what is on those eventually. Put this over here. Put that over. This is from Screen Media. I will be doing a Blu-ray review of this very, very soon. This is available in April. This is Skyfire. This is from the director of Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, and The Expendables 2. A very fun Mandarin Chinese language action film. This is one of my top favorites of, of, of the year so far. I believe it's in my top 20. And giving it a rewatch, it'll probably bump up a little bit because watching this on Blu-ray is going to be a blast. Stay tuned for a Blu-ray update, uh, Blu-ray update, a Blu-ray uh, review for Skyfire. And if you haven't checked out my movie review for it, check it out. It's on my channel. I reviewed it in January, I believe. This next one is a Blu-ray steelbook. I went into my local video game store where I do a lot of movie buying and a lot of talking with the owner. And we we are both autograph people and 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 we both like movies and everything and i was just walking around and i completely missed this the first time i looked through the movies i've learned you always go back through so i went back through and all i saw was just this that's all i saw was this it's the 1990 it miniseries on blu-ray steelbook for five dollars. I was not passing on this. The Blu-ray is in I, I believe it's in perfect shape. I mean it has some smudges, but that's not going to affect playback at all. It, the miniseries, is a great miniseries. I like the first half a lot more than the second half, but I still enjoy it. And I do believe that the uh 2017 movie adaptation is really good, as well as it chapter two is really, really good. But I do enjoy the 2017 It a lot more uh, than than It It Chapter 2. It's still a great film, but both are great compared to to the, end, the ending of this. Because the ending of this is very 1990. But Blu-ray Steelbook for 5 bucks. I was not passing on this. This is probably going to get me a little bit of hate. We have two Blu-rays here. These are two films that I did not hate. Particularly this first one here. This first one is hated by a lot of people. This was on a lot of people's worst of the year list. It wasn't on mine. I personally enjoyed this film for what it was. I do enjoy horror to a standpoint. I am not a big horror fan. Like, I am not some huge horror guy. But every once in a while, particularly with the new release Blu-rays, Blu-rays, the new release movies that are horror, I like to try and see a good chunk of them. So I watched The Turning. The Turning is a very fun horror film, in my opinion. I believe it's very well done. I enjoy Ben Wolfhart. Mackenzie Davis is really good, as is Brooklyn Prince. I know, I know a lot of people don't like this film. That's perfectly fine. But for me, I definitely enjoy this film. The Turning... Is one, uh, if if you guys are not subscribed to Unpaid Movie Critic, they have a series on there called Second Chances, where where they give movies, particularly horror, as of recently, because they, they are big horror people, God bless them for it, The Turning and Brahms the Boy 2 were two uh, Second Chance reviews that they did, and they didn't really care for them. And, and they asked me, would I like them? And I'm like, 
that would be great because I really do enjoy the turning. Brahms the Boy 2 was a lot better than I thought it would be. I did not like the first one all that much. Brahms the Boy 2 kind of retcons that, turns this in, in into an evil doll movie. A doll that can actually move instead of a boy, a man living in the uh, walls and moving them. <laughs> I think that, that that was just a little stupid. This is a lot better. This is more like Annabelle. And I do enjoy the Annabelle movies. I do I do enjoy Annabelle Comes Home a lot more than uh, particularly the first two. But... Uh, and I haven't seen those in in a while. I'm gonna. I don't think I I will ever watch those films again. But that's what I am comparing Brahms the Boy two to. Brahms the boy. Brahms the boy one. The boy was a bad horror film in my opinion. If you liked it, more power to you. That's awesome. If you liked it, I thought it was bad. I thought that the first Annabelle was all right. I thought that the second Annabelle was really good, and then the third one was good as well. Not as good as the second one, now that I'm thinking of back, back, back. But, let's think back. The third Annabelle movie actually goes back to uh, the Warrens' house with their evil room. And it's trying to set up other movies. That's what I like about the boy movies, is they don't like to set up other films with, um... I, uh, I almost called it Br Brom Comes Home. With Annabelle Comes Home, it's just setting up a bunch of other films. Like this evil coin. This evil wedding dress where when the woman puts it on, the wedding dress possesses her, takes control of her, and she ends up killing the groom. That's a very interesting story. I don't know the whole story. I want to see a movie based on that. Because a killer dress? Give me that. Give me the Warrens in it. Give me the story of that and how they got it. That would be freaking amazing. This is a mammoth set. This is a set that I'm excited about. I will be watching this in October. This will be my series I am watching for Halloween. Because this feels j just right. It feels right to watch during the month of Halloween. This is a set that they tried twice. Two or three times to get. They had an extra copy. And they said, would you like it? And I'm like, I actually would. I've heard great things about the series. This is the Grim, The Complete Collection. This is a mammoth set. And this is a bit of a hefty uh, guy here. You flip it over. And if you haven't seen it, I did do a DVD unboxing of this. You flip this over, trying to snap my fingers, there we go, first season, second season, this goes all the way up to the final season, season six, you just snap the sucker in there, and it's the same thing with this one here, flip that over, very nice, I'm looking forward to watching Grimm this upcoming October. So I can finally sit down and see the whole series. It may take me a bit longer than just the month of October. But who knows? Because I'm getting through Frasier pretty darn fast as well. Faster than I thought I would. Grimm. The Complete Collection. Brahms the Boy 2. The Turning. The 1990 It miniseries Blu-ray Steelbook. Which, by the way, I'm not a big Steelbook person. I'm not going to spend 35 bucks on a Steelbook. The most expensive steelbook I bought, I believe, was like $7.96. And that was because it was Black Friday, and I heard Rick from Down, Down to Movie before I went out to Walmart to do my shopping on Black Friday morning. Or, no, I that time I did it the afternoon. When I did it in the afternoon, he had already put up his video and said, you can get steelbooks with the same price as the Blu-ray. So, with that case, I found the Zombieland Blu-ray. I found the Aquaman Blu-ray. I was holding both of those. I did own Zombieland, but it, it wasn't in the best shape. I found the Steelbooks over in the, in, 
in the Walmart section, I'm like, for the same price, why not get the Steelbook? The It Steelbook, why not? Skyfire from Screen Media, Blu-ray review for that coming very, very soon. The Back to the Future trilogy on DVD, I do, I do, I do want to get that on Blu-ray at some point. As well as the Hallmark double feature of A Summer Romance and Home by Spring. I will be doing a Home by Spring review very, very soon. Stay tuned because we got a lot of videos coming your way. I have a review uh, coming up uh, for The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The new release is coming this week. We got a lot of stuff coming. Uh, stay tuned. And I will see all of you guys later this weekend for more reviews. See you guys next time. Be careful. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Don't, don't drink too much. Do not drink and drive. Social distance. Keep your mask on if you are in a big gathering party. I will see all of you guys next time.